What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to play PC games on your Mac using GeForce Now. First, using your preferred browser, navigate to nvidia.com slash enus slash geforce now slash download or click on a link in the video description. On this page, click on the download for Mac button. The download will start and after a short while, the file will show up in your downloads folder. Double click the downloaded DMG file. A new window will open up. Simply drag and drop the NVIDIA GeForce Now icon into the Applications folder. Open the Applications folder and launch GeForce Now from here. You might be warned about opening apps that are downloaded from the internet. Click on Open and then you might have to allow some additional permissions before the app opens up for the first time. You'll be asked to log in with your account or create an account which is just a few clicks if you're using a Google account for example. Once in, you will be greeted by this game section, where you can browse games that you can play right now. Before launching a game, let's quickly go over the most important settings. Navigate to your settings and go to the Connections tab to sync your game libraries. If your games don't appear in GeForce Now, click Resync here. It forces GeForce Now to detect any newly purchased titles. If your library doesn't sync, you can still search for the game manually in the GeForce Now library. Just make sure it's supported on Steam or Epic. Next, head over to the Gameplay tab. Here, I will suggest the best settings for M1 or higher Macs running macOS Tahoe and for users with a decent internet connection. First of all, set the server location to automatic for now. You can also test your current internet connection below. Set the streaming quality to balanced, which is a good trade-off between quality and bandwidth, around 10 GB per hour. The streaming modes will change your max bitrate, resolution, vSync settings and more. Switch between the modes to see what works best for your internet connection and the games you're intending to play. Custom allows you to make more changes in the settings below. Lastly, at the bottom, leave the upscale mode option to standard as it will provide the most compatibility. You can then head back to the game section and games from your connected libraries will show up here. If you're a free user, you might have to wait in queue for a few minutes before you can play. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.